Steins Gate, Chapter 2. We don't have anything to say. We already said everything. <laughs> we don't have anything to say, so we're not saying it. We're the bittersweet gamers. I'm the opinionator! And I'm We Square! Let's go! A few days later. Yeah. Or the next day, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I could pass out if I'm not careful. God, I don't live here, do I? <laughs> Maybe I should take a shower. That should stave off exhaustion, if only temporarily. So long as you don't troll the Atchan boards again. No more, please. This room has a toilet and a shower room. Uh, the shower's a little cheap compared to the one my family has back home, but... This lab would be hell without it. It'd be a bunch of stinky dudes and Mayushi, and no. <laughs> <sighs> Quit browsing at channel, please. Well, actually, no, you do it. You browse at channel so we don't have to. <laughs> that way our perspective's not on it. Daru is at his computer, his back turned towards me. He stinks. <laughs> His right leg is bouncing impatiently. Now we're going to get a tip about restless leg syndrome. Now, I'm fine with it as long as there's some type of white noise and I have something that I'm concentrating on. But if there's not, and I hear this shuff, 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 It's like the dripping faucet. After a while, I'll just be like, and leap over and slay Billy who does this. I'm sorry, I can't help it. Outside is a sunny summer afternoon, but inside, the air is stale and empty of life. Yesterday... Everyone laughed at me. That shocking experiment convinced me that the phone wave, name subject to change, was also a time machine. But Kudis didn't seem willing to accept the results. She just started screaming! Oh. What an interesting reaction that is. Yeah. Maybe she was the girl from earlier with the satellite. Then she took a mad dash out of the lab. It was like she couldn't get out of here fast enough. As for Mayuri, she was depressed about her chicken and bananas, rightfully so. You jerks! So she skipped her daily costume sewing and just sat there, miserable. Billy's about to cry! <laughs> and just went home. Grudges over food run deep, I guess. She's probably sitting there with a banana at home, in her dark room, nibbling on the banana with Okari no Baka. Because that's the only safe refuge she has for her bananas. Except her parents probably ate all of her bananas at home. <laughs> and then she finds one, and then her dog comes and eats the banana. <laughs> oh, God. That's so sad. I don't want to envision a bananaless future like that. And then she's just going to waste away from starvation as everyone around her steals her food. Which leaves the lab empty, save for Daru and me. Since all the pretty girls are gone, we're really sad. You can tell we're really sad because, like, look at us, come on. <laughs> you, they're both looking in different directions. They were probably both looking at a different person. <laughs> Our enthusiasm shot through the roof when we realized that the phone wave, named subject to change, had tremendous hidden potential. By the way, <laughs> had I known that I was going to be reading "name subject to change 75 times, I would have picked a different way to consistently say it. But the die has already been cast. What's done is done. This is the way I have to do it now. It's There's the only one option. We have to go back in time. We nearly died of excitement after successfully sending an email to the past. So we stayed up all night doing experiments to confirm whether or not the phone wave, name subject to change, <laughs> is indeed a time machine. I also didn't get a chance to look and see what they had in their little basket. But at least now they're trying different foods. Finally! Why don't they try something other than food? It's a microwave, Damon. That's what you use a microwave for. Duh! The results, however... We went to the supermarket and stocked up on a wide variety of items. 
We tossed each of them into the phone wave. Name subject to change. But everything failed. No change. Nothing happened. Oh. After it reset the, it. Or at the very least made it stop doing what it was doing. Yeah. No, maybe you're right. Maybe that is the way to look at it. Because the chicken was burnt. Maybe it sent the uh, phone wave name subject to change itself back into time before it gained these abilities. Uh, yeah, maybe? After the experiment where the discharge phenomenon occurred, everything warmed up normally. No jellification. And we are stopped. Suddenly, we couldn't get anything to happen. We still have no idea why. Not that we had any idea why it worked in the first place. Now, as for sending messages to the past, first, let's review the problems revealed by this last run of experiments. Mondai Sono Ichi. Electrical discharge safety precautions. We removed everything flammable from the development room to reduce the risk of fire. We also prepared two fire buckets full of water, just in case. Finally, a proper experiment! By the way, that handwriting yeah. is way, way better than mine. People My... who don't have good handwriting get cursed by ghosts. Excuse me? The occult is bullcrap! <laughs> Suddenly I feel cold. <laughs> but that's not a fundamental solution. Sort of like treating the symptoms instead of the underlying illness. Right. Mondai sono ni. Mass increase. When the discharge phenomenon occurs, the phone wave, named subject to change, suddenly gains mass for unknown reasons. Because of this, the microwave broke the table and made a dent in the floor! Well, they did say that gravity is kind of related to time travel, so maybe there was a sudden increase in the phone wave named subject to change the gravity. Well, not its gravity, or but, it, but its mass. Yeah. To deal with the issue, we placed the microwave on the floor. Uh, hopefully it doesn't go through the floor were this to ever happen again. <laughs> We spread cushions and blankets underneath. This hides the hole in the floor, too. Don't <laughs> we don't want to be liable for that. Yeah, I was going to say, don't want to have to explain it to Mr. Brown. Mundai <laughs> sono san! We are not even sure of the necessary conditions to send email to the past. No matter how many times we tried, we couldn't pin down a single condition. Uh, but sending a text while it's active to a modern phone seems to be what triggered it, right? Does this mean that they tried that again and it didn't work? Well, we don't entirely know, but like they said, they couldn't seem to get anything to trigger okay. anymore. Okay, okay. We spent the entire night doing trial and error. We tried over 40 different things, but not once could we reproduce the discharge phenomenon. Hmm. We started off in high spirits, but grew more and more frustrating as... But grew more and more frustrated <laughs> and frustrating as time progressed. Which brings us to the present. In which I need a shower. In which I stink. I guess I'm not hungry, because there was all this <laughs> microwave food. <sighs> demoralized, depressed, lonely. Honestly, I gave up. That's why I spent the entire morning lazing around like this. That and the fact that I didn't get any sleep. Another email pops up on my phone. I've been getting way too many of these since yesterday. Oh, yeah? Is he getting them from... The future? Oh. Perhaps he's also getting them from multiple world lines. Maybe. If there's not much divergence, they shouldn't be too different, right? Yeah, yeah. It wouldn't be that weird for a friend to send a friend a text or something about something they would normally talk about. Yeah, just the day-to-day. -day. And you wouldn't really think that weird about someone you talk to frequently not actually replying to something that's kind of frivolous. Yeah, sometimes you just send a text and it doesn't need to be a reply. You just want them to see it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, hey, check out this cool thing. Oh, they're yeah. all from Shining yeah. Finger! Yeah. The woman called Kiryu Moika. Well, never mind then. 
Excellent. <laughs> More girls. I've never used email this often before. Did you know that inboxes have a limit? Who knew? What that socializing with people frequently was not annoying. Or is annoying, I suppose, but... <laughs> I saw how fast Shining Finger typed. That should have been enough to tip me off that she was a male demon. <laughs> I was careless. You fool. It's too much of a pain to reply, so I ignore it. Nah. Sambo ni gyudon demo kui ni ikanai ka? Gyudon. Ah, mendoi. There's no attractive cat girl waitresses there. For goodness sake. It's too much trouble to reply to the email from the cute girl. It's too much trouble to go get food. Let's just all sit around in a room sort of lazing and screwing around on the computer. You'll never waste your life that way. And <laughs> she's doing the cryy face. <laughs> My is she spending money is getting dangerously low. You and Daru need to chip in too sometimes. You don't want to get between me and my food. Err. <laughs> After carefully consulting the guide, the answer is of course food. Gah! Paternal instincts! <laughs> Sorry for stealing all of your food, Mayuri. <sighs> but Okarin-chan isn't going to care. You eat too much anyway! Go on a diet before it's too late! That's not what you should respond to a lady with, you bum! Especially since they can't afford to go out and get a bunch of food. What a horrible monster! They can. They did! There! That should do it! Childhood friends. Hatred for Okarin increasing! God, look at all that! You freaking bums! Bum is apparently the word of the episode. Main subject to change. <laughs> What's he doing on the computer, anyway? And dude, if it's porn... Dude, that's somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, seriously! I'm curious, so I casually peek over his shoulder. There's an image of a futuristic-looking facility I've never seen before. So, speaking about the Large Hadron Collider... That's what that is. Well, either that or the solar ray. <laughs> God, I hope not. Actually, I guess it's more like the colony laser, isn't it? It's a chaotic metallic cylindrical tunnel. Some kind of rocket thruster, perhaps? Or maybe the interior of a spaceship from a sci-fi movie? It's kind of cool. Yeah. Based on the height of the people in the picture, the tunnel looks to be more than 10 meters tall. <laughs> Daru approves. Ha -hoo. That made my skin crawl, Billy. Mine too. Large Hadron Collider ni amaji iya sareru yo na. Kisama, ima nan to itta. Large Hadron Colander. <laughs> that way it strains your Hadron pasta. Or we're talking about porn after all. Teru Teru? In any case, thanks to all the dang at Chan, he should he should be familiar with the Large Hadron Collider. Large Hadron Collider. I mean, unless he just skipped over those entries. I grabbed Daru's relaxed shoulders and wringed them out. What are you <laughs> Daru no longer approves. <laughs> Daru rather quickly disapproves. <laughs> you must recognize CERN. 
Um, Daru, buddy, you've got a really weird definition of Moe. So basically, he likes Ferris and the Large Hadron Collider. Or is it? Is it that he likes just particle colliders of some sort? Yes. I don't know what that has to do with Ferris, but... Well, neither do I, but we know he likes Ferris. That's true. Maybe, maybe he just has a thing for engines or science fiction engines. Science fiction engines. Oh my. Well, I mean, there's a term for that, you know. We're not talking <laughs> about the large hard on Polyander! Neo! Demo Nansuno? Mite te wakuak suritsuno? Nia nia dekiritsuno? Don't talk like that, you disgust me! <laughs> it's it's like he's he does kinda of talk like a teenage girl. So yeah, And the undersides of highways! Okay! This conversation is going in a weird bend! I really like giant piloted robots. But not like this! <laughs> so, so, are to his show. Ha hoo! He may be confusing excitement, like in intellectual excitement, for physical excitement, because that's all he kind of relates to. You took that so seriously. <laughs> I reject this everything! <laughs> Or everything is stupid. <laughs> I've seen it somewhere before, and recently. I guess I have an excuse for not remembering this stuff on account of all-nighter mush brain. <laughs> where was it again? Is that a technical term, all-nighter mush brain? <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. No! John Taita! Ah, John Taita? Ocarin got it on the day. I'm not going to be a little bit of 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 a little bit Wow, as, as soon as the Chuni is dropped, which he seems to be dropping out of exhaustion, as soon as the Chuni is dropped, <laughs> Bean Tunnel can actually have a conversation. I know it's amazing, isn't it? John I don't remember all of it, but there's one thing I'm sure of. And by then, presumably already have taken over the world. If that's to be believed, yes. Oh, time machine! I love you. Ha hoo! Naru, I love you. Ha hoo! But it's not just a few years ago. I think it's a few years ago. I think it's a can someone please explain Steins Gate to us now? Titan I would definitely begin taking Titer more seriously if if we had just turned a microwave into a time machine, even if only very temporarily. I mean, he turned a Chevy into a time machine. <laughs> yes! <laughs> 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 Man, now that I think about it, you're right. It was a Chevy. I despise Chevys. Most of the cars that I've had in my life have been Chevys, and they've all fallen apart and been poorly constructed internally. <laughs> so for Titer to have actually gone into the past in that thing, for, in like 2G's 
for an hour in a vacuum. It's amazing he didn't get killed. <laughs> Daru, investigate at Chan because I'm never going on that website ever again. <laughs> Please. Okay. He already has the answer. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, it does. Serun is the world's largest research laboratory. It's a research laboratory for the European Oceanic Research Laboratory, or the European Oceanic The European Organization, you say? But they haven't built a giant robot, so they're not interested. Well, these two may not care about that so much, but... Huh, I didn't know that. What? But I don't really know anything about the development of the internet, except that it started in, like, the 50s, 40s, yeah. something like that. <sighs> World Wide Web. Abbreviated as www. Also simply called the web, or the net, or the internet, for the love of God. The standardized document system used on the internet, aka what you're watching this video on. Nobody knew what this was. Hypertext markup language, a language used to design web page documents, allows the embedding of images, videos, sound, and hyperlinks. And HTTP. Hypertext Transfer Protocol, the communication protocol used to transfer data like HTML between a browser and a web server. World Wide Web? That's the internet? Oh my god. Daru, are you serious? Are you serious? Daru? Why is this surprising? Why is this confusing to him? It's not confusing to Daru. That was Okarin. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it was confusing to me, apparently. I thought Daru said that. Bingo. URL no saisho ni tsuite ri yatsu. Does Okarian know anything? What is that lab coat even for? <laughs> We've seen him use the internet. He means the HTTP colon slash slash www thing. Yes, that's what he means. CERN invented that? What great influence they have over this world. Maybe Billy's reading that as organization was right. <laughs> All I know about CERN is what I read in. Typo, 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 typo. No, no, it's an omitto. Omitto. Remember, there's been a lot of omittos here. All I know about CERN is what I read in Titer's book. I never knew they were that amazing. Okay, I, please forgive me. <laughs> Don't throw trash on the ground! <laughs> At a bare minimum! Throw trash on the ground next to a trash can! <laughs> Not next to your current location. I see a trash bin on the other side of that desk. I wouldn't be screaming about it if they just would have piled it up over there. <laughs> Alternately, if you're going to generate this much trash, why don't they get a bigger trash can and put it in the trash can? Damon, Damon, Damon. They've got more important things to spend money on, like gel banners. Sorry, after you've been paid to clean as many trash cans, take out the trash as many times as I have, you start to really notice stuff like this. <laughs> and care! Serun wa donna kenkyu wo? Kihon teki ni wa soryushi butsuri gaku ka na? Sekai demo yuitsu Serun shika motte nai chou dekai jikken sochi wo motte rin da. Iwa yuru ryushi kasoku ki ってやつ. Teisoku hanyoshi chikuseki ring. Yoshi synchro tron booster. Ougata denshi yo denshi collider. Oh my god, no. Please don't. LHC is a very important thing in the world. It's a very important thing in the world. 
まあ実験開始前はその実験でミニブラックホールが作られちゃうかもって噂もあったなそのミニブラックホールに地球が飲み込まれる宇宙がやばいってあれミニブラックホールあれミニブラックホールあれミニブラックホールあれミニブラックホールあれミニブラックホールあれミニブラックホールあれミニブラックホールあれミニブラックホールあれミニブラックホールあれミニブラックホールあれミニブラックホールあれミニブラックホールあれミニブラックホールあれミニブラックホールあれミニブラックホールあれミニブラックホールあれミニブラックホールあれミニブラックホールあれミニブラックホールあれミニブラックホールあれミニブラックホールあれミニブラックホールあれミニブラックホールあれミニブラックホールあれミニブラックホールあれミニブラックホールあれミニブラックホールあれミニブラックホールあれミニブラックホールあれミニブラックホールあれミニブラックホールあれミニブラックホールあれミニブラックホールあれミニブラックホールあれミニブラックホールあれミニブラックホールあれミニブラックホールあれミニブラックホールあれミニブラックホールあれミニブラ I will throttle you and you will die. <laughs> All this LHC talk seemed to light a fire inside Daru, so we decided to go to Sambo after all. We continued our conversation over a couple of delicious beef bowls. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Drool, drool. Almost 1 p.m. Observe the 3D fans! I don't know. 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 I d o n That basically every media outlet reports on any study, you, you can assume that every take on it is wrong. I'm not criticizing motives or anything, but the job of a journalist fundamentally is to draw attention to their article so as many people as possible will read the article. And so, like, eye catchy headlines? Yeah, and exaggerating. Not exaggerating, emphasizing the more sensationalistic、mm-hmm. aspects of、mm-hmm. a study or story are just directly in their rational interest. It's not necessarily deceptive. Right. The onus is on the people who read these things to not take them at face value. Yeah, yeah, you want multiple sources. Hence the skepticism、yeah. that I keep talking about with this stuff. Well, not necessarily even multiple sources, but at the very least, before you start saying the world is going to be destroyed, you, you might want to, like, either look at what it is they're citing that says that, or find other people who do. Right. Especially people who don't have an agenda. Yeah, yeah. I.e., me complaining about all nutrition news ever. Daga, he no night to coroni kemuri wa tatanai. What? Well, you know, I broke the flow of conversation. <laughs> Daru says CERN officially denied the fact that they can accidentally destroy the world. Ah, okay, okay. And Okarin is saying, well, you know, maybe you shouldn't discount that. According to their official announcements, they only began experimenting in 2008. That's suspicious. Of course, that's assuming Titer's story is true. Some of Titer's predictions were on the mark, but most weren't. 30%? Hey! I'm also perplexed by how everyone around me seems to have forgotten about Titer's 2000 appearance. I mentioned this before in an extremely clumsy way. If you want to make Titer be more credible, one way to look at it is that there were different world lines that Titer could have been describing events in. That's, and、yeah. so he describes events from a variety of world lines that he may know, or just from his own, and hopes that the place, I mean, what was the divergence? 0.57, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, like maybe that divergence. Down to the seventh decibel level or something. Maybe that divergence accounts for some of the wrong predictions. Yeah. This is a really rough comparison, and I'm not trying to say what I'm not trying to say, but I'm trying to make the easiest, roughest, Quickest comparison possible a divergence of 0.57%. What's the population of the United States? About 330 million people. 1% of 330 million people is 3.3 million people. Yeah, yeah. 0.57% of that is going to be almost 2 million people. Yeah. So, are you, so theoretically, again, I'm aware this is extremely rough. 
there could be a difference in that 0.57% divergence of 2 million people. That makes a lot of sense, yeah. So there could be things that are awfully different. I'm saying that can account for it. That's really just a thought experiment. I'm not trying to say that, <laughs> that any titer, whether in this game or in the real world, is credible. <laughs> There's something important in Titer's tale. Or at least I want there to be. Hoping for a coincidence? That's an extremely honest and forthright thing to say. <laughs> Do you like how I said honest and forthright? And, and then it just then... immediately goes full chimney? Full Kyoma. Full Kyoma. <laughs> ジョンタイターとセル。その2つの言葉から俺が言いたいことは分かっておられる。ああ、そうだ。奴らは機関と繋がりがある可能性が高い。Now I wonder if these moments are actually some sort of like concentration aid where where that helps him think. I was going to say myself that this is his very Okarin way of actually declaring his seriousness about something. Yeah, yeah. Guzen da to? Oi, oi. Amari ore o shitsubou saseru na yo. Nani? Konkyo da to? So da na. Aete iyeba. Sasayaku no da yo. Ore no mad scientist to shite no chokkan ga na. Okay, okay, dude. Stop! <laughs> Stop! Wait, 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 you guys aren't really going to try and steal CERN's technology, are you? Do you even have the money to go to Switzerland? <laughs> <laughs> you win! <laughs><笑><笑><笑><笑> Dude, you do this every time we go out. This is why I didn't want to go out. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, why do you think I never talked to you in high school? It's because I don't really want to associate with you. Nanzo. <laughs> I'm not a part of your fantasy world. I'm a part of my fantasy world. <laughs> With lots and lots of 2D waifus? Yes! And as much Ferris as possible. By the way, she isn't, like, emailing you all the time, is she? And large Hadron Collider Ton. Okarin <laughs> I think Daru is disapproving of me. <laughs> Work with me here. Come on, man. I'm including you in the in-group by default. Don't, don't you understand we're in a video game right now? <laughs> <あとは分かるな。いや、全然。セルに。笑> Oh, no, 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 I mean, on the bright side, it's not like there's going to send a military force to retaliate. Oh, God, Interpol! 
Yeah, really all that's going to happen is if they caught you, you know, you'd probably get fined. No, Interpol. Or he'd get a job. Or he'd get a job. Hey, that's pretty <laughs> win-win. I mean, great I way know. to great way to find a competent white hat hacker.電話レンジ確保借りを what a deal. Does that mean he can go and withdraw potato chips at an ATM? Well, not from a Swiss bank account, <laughs> but... <laughs> oh my god. And that worked for him! Okay! Whoa! <laughs> Nunzel! Okay, Nunzel, I can't really explain, but it's really funny. As we returned to the lab, I noticed a fam I noticed a typo. An omitto. <laughs> I noticed a familiar woman that hasn't gotten to be in this game much fixing her bicycle in front of the brown tube workshop. Daru, his head filled with thoughts of hacking, went upstairs ahead of me. I stayed to observe the woman. That is a really weird way to say that. Uh, what was this girl's name again? Suzuha. Amane? Amane Suzuha, that yeah. was it. I think it was something like Aruma or Amore <laughs> Banana! <laughs> yeah! Oh, right. Amane. Amane Suzuha. <laughs> I'm glad you asked. Oh, no. However,. I'm afraid that I won't have anything to say about it to an organization spy like yourself. What other reason would you have to try and force yourself into the employ of a CRT shop that gets no business <laughs> except to spy on us, the future gadget lab? It's my <laughs> prediction. ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
I thought I was the only one who uses words like that in normal conversation. Normal conversation. I'll say that word was too toony for me. I actually learned it myself. Daki, <laughs> Daki Subeki. Daki Subeki. Well, the, the, the Subeki part is one thing. I have no intention of explaining Japanese grammar unless it's hilarious. Oh God, I'm failing. <laughs> but although the word means contemptible, the kanji, because I was so curious, I had to go look it up. The, the kanji that it uses are like, well, you would read them literally as like to turn your head and spit. <laughs> Neat. Uh, I didn't say that. Meanwhile, he's like, wait a minute. Are you actually Chuni after all? <laughs> Where does he meet these people? Well, outside his lab, apparently. Me and my big mouth. <laughs> You, you just said it for one. Did she spy? Or did she guess? Were they... Were they... That's what I was thinking! They were talking so loud. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about! I reject that assertion for any... <laughs> oh yeah. Chapter 2 did start with a shot of this open window. For we are poor with no air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> the window. Come to think of it, it was open, and Dadu and I were talking loudly. Because you have no volume control. But can you really hear us from here? It's not like you get a lot of business. You can't be like, Hey there, Onisan, do you want to come into my store and buy a 30-year-old television? Like, who's gonna fall for that? You'd be surprised. It's true. Reconnoiter? Is she some kind of secret agent? I know what that word means, and I'm not a secret agent. No, 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 it's... <laughs> it's that she uses weird words. Ah, okay, okay. Santakini. She's just a busybody. And, and bored. And yeah. Damn! We were careless! How many other people may have heard the same thing? Looks like we need to close that window when we discuss sensitive matters from now on. But if we do that, the lab will turn into a scorching hell! My god! Which choice do we make? It will determine the destiny of the world! Damned if I do. Damned if I don't! Tony Cook. I, I don't believe you. Like you said, she is a busybody. All is quiet inside the brown tube workshop, as usual. Mr. Brown's not here either. I killed him. What? <laughs> he probably went to see the chipmunk. I don't know what that means, but that is adorable. His daughter. Oh. That makes way more sense. That is fantastic. <laughs> Seriously? I I want more of, of Ten Noji. He disappears during business hours every now and then. 
Whenever I ask him where he's going, he always says something like, I'm picking my beloved daughter up from school, or my beloved daughter has a cold with a huge <laughs> grin on his face because he is showing off and bragging. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes. He's a role model for us all. Especially the tiny teacup. What? Original Sin level rising? Ah, uh, It's from Ferris. Kilma, when operating in the mundane world, you're supposed to be discreet, yeah? You don't want them to notice you. Remember, the summoning has taken 2,000 years to prepare. If it fails, everything will be ruined. Although I suppose that might make things interesting. Yeah! <laughs> The hell is she talking about? Why is she always so weird? I just don't understand it. Says Kilma. Says Kilma. I hear the whisperings from afar. The ancient knowledge that has been passed down to us says. Any reply is fine. Uh, doesn't matter, eh? Well, we're... should it matter? Interesting. Let us discuss failure. Yeah. <laughs> also, how can the original sin level rise? It wouldn't be original sin if the amount was variable. I, I think it might be more a common noun as opposed to like an adjective of sin. Like whatever original well, no, sin is. Well, well, yeah, I'm talking about the concept of original sin. That's what I'm saying. The oh. amount can't change or it wouldn't be original sin. I don't understand what she's talking about. Puh, you fool. Know you not the way of Chuni? You. Nani o Luca. It's like he's in an ARG. An ARG is an alternate reality game. Oh, I thought you meant ARG you meant. Oh, no, no, no. I mean ARG. Please continue with your tip. An, an alternate reality game is, well, it's kind of like what the John Titer stuff is. Someone makes a post pretending to live in this alternate reality and people respond to him as if it were real. And it's kind of like a game. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty cheap. That is, that is really cheap. You say that, but look at his expression. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess Tennoji knows how much he can get out of him. Damn manager. I bet he gave it to us just so he could charge repair fees. And then we find out that he actually charged less and she's just taking a cut. Well, you know, if that's what it takes. <laughs> Are you a weakling? It's a television! Yeah! He was having to work real hard, and I even joked about his weakling scientist arms. I mean, I know that CRTs are way heavier than, like, certainly televisions of today, but come on. Like she said, you brought it down by yourself. It's like, even if it's 80 pounds, he... At the very least, he can move it over around the stairs and wait for somebody else. Yeah. Don't you know it takes ten times more effort to go upstairs than down? Defying gravity is no easy task, woman! You need to help me carry it. In a way, that does make sense. <laughs> Help Again, braid appreciation. I do like her hair. <laughs> I promise you, if you act like this wandering about in real life, you will not pick up all the chicks that Okarin is. <laughs> well, that's his, that's his narrative right as a visual novel protagonist. I don't believe I've ever heard it described so succinctly and accurately as that. You're welcome. That is fantastic. Caroling <laughs> gentlemen. 
が反応したからだ。カラーリング、ジェントルマン。Is that his stand power? That's what I was thinking. な、能力 So is she just super gullible or. This power allows me to see through lies. Lies appear to glow red. Then they die! That's probably a reference to something, but I don't get it. あのさ、君みたいな能力者って、他にもあまたにいるわけいるわけがなかろう。この俺がスペシャルなのだ<笑> What a nice life he has, being able to wander around and play with so many people like this. そ、そっか、あまたにはいないのか。びっくりしたでもいるって時点ですごいなやっぱセルンのせいで退化したのかな What is going on here? I can't understand her at all <laughs> What? I, I, I don't Yeah exactly でもさ戦闘になれば相手の嘘を見抜く力なんて意味なくない What the who Well, I mean, if you want to really just take a look at it, you can probably see through fades pretty easily. Yapa, Sen Metal Q no Chokuri Sogeki or Mechu Sasera Rutoka, Ikani Koritsuk, Aiteno Kansets Kimera Ruka Toka no Hoga Juyo da Tomona. Well, I don't know about the tearing the limbs off, but super speed is the best.、Mm -hmm. Super speed is always the best. What the hell is she talking about? Is she a survival game, Otaku? Survival airsoft. A mock battle using air guns! Primarily played outside in the mountains. Participants generally wear camouflage. So, paintball. I'm not sure what that, any of that has to do with what she's talking about, but. No, wait. Don't tell me. Kisama! Satewa! Kikan no hitman dana! Miss Gorgo to you, Kodo name the Yobarate Yudaro! Dari a m o r t a How violent and brutal. I've never read that, Golgo 13. Me either. Yeah, that any more yato are the nice. Teoko, Gorugo, the nani. To be fair, she didn't discount that she was an assassin. She just said nobody hired her. I don't know what to think of the fact that this obviously nerdy Japanese teenager doesn't know what Golgo 13 is, and I do. <laughs> <laughs> What? Obscure robot anime? You bet! Her confusion is suspicious. <sighs> Sorry, he makes some really funny noises. This ringtone is starting to piss me off. Ah,、uh, it must be Shining Finger again. I should customize it, except I don't think I can in this game. It's most likely from that male demon shining finger! I think she made a Mirai Niki reference. I'm not familiar with Mirai Niki except for the name. I'm not too familiar with it either, but I know that you use cell phones to kill people via texting. That's the only thing I know about it. Huh. And I might even be wrong about that, but I do know it has to do with using cell phones and killing people. Your face uses cell phones and kills people? Don't make that look at me! You're going to kill me! Let me grab my phone real quick. And what the hell is a death notice anyway? Do those even exist? And where does he find all these people that act like this? <laughs> <laughs> He is so chuny that his aura draws them in. They are the stars of destiny, blocking is... to his might. That is pretty powerful. I guess that makes him the Tenkai star. <laughs> so, a cute girl who wants to talk to him about computers is texting him while he's being annoyed by it while talking to a cute girl who is responding to his chuniness. Who has even taken actions like after hearing him talk about the evil organization CERN went and looked it up. 
-hmm. And she is completely responding to his provocations and way of speaking. Mm -hmm. This is so fictional, <laughs> this could never happen. And that is why he needs to be very happy. He really should. Oh, earlier, Ferris even yep. mailed him. Yep. This girl is, quite admittedly and very true, hard to get a handle on. I really shouldn't let my guard down around her. Is he talking about Shining Finger or Amane? Amane, of course. <laughs> that, that's adorable. <laughs> IBN 5100 Maybe that retro PC is more popular with female otaku than I thought. I'll file this information away. And never use it. Yeah, apparently! I've got it. I have reached the truth. You have? The truth, Billy. Uh -huh. The truth of this world and the organization is that all of these women are John Titer! Don't look at me like that. Your face is going to kill me! Good. I see your face. It is glowing red. That means soon you're going to die. Then why are you scared? Uh, 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 no! Uh, it's this power rising up from my throat. It's as if I've been invaded by a parasite from my stomach. It must have come from ingesting your lies and the air that you breathe and... Are you done? <sighs> See, this is why this game is fictional. I B N 5100を実際に探し回ってみたが、結局秋葉にはなかったというオチは知っている。There has to be one in Akiba. But yeah, I actually tried looking for like two hours on at Chan, and since I couldn't find anything, I've come to the conclusion that it doesn't exist. That might be the case. そっか。it is a little suspicious how much she knows. Little? Little suspicious? Maybe she is actually an organization spy. I don't know, but I know I know I know I know I know I know because I can't get a handle on her in any way. I mean, remember the, the weird introduction she had? Oh, ha! Uh-huh, uh-huh. Is she like I was suspecting Ferris was, where she just sort of finds the way that the person that she's interacting with acts and then mirrors it back to them to gain comfortability and trust? Or is she actually basically just as weirdo of a person as Okarin is? I, or is she just messing with him? I mean, she can't be at this point, but I thought that for a bit. Like, I can't tell. And so what that means is I'm actually spending a large amount of time thinking about her. Uh-huh. And, you know, that leads to... That generally leads to them becoming my favorite character just because <laughs> I'm trying to figure her out. So it's like you think about that person for a long time, so if I can't figure her out in some way, then she's destined to become my favorite character whether I want her to be or not. That's a really weird way of putting that. Well, it's the way it works. People, like real people, or fictional characters living rent-free in your head. It means they have a great amount of power over you, whether that relationship is positive or negative. <laughs> That's a very strange way of putting it, but I understand it completely. <laughs> what the? The way she... I know, it's like her reactions are... Her... her... Visual reactions are what's making me kind of suspicious of her. I could, yes! Like, <sighs> I could totally buy it! Anything what? at this point! Maybe, maybe she's the woman from the satellite. Maybe she's an actual time traveler. Hmm. 
That would explain why she would put herself close to Okarin if Okarin's actions are what's going to determine everything. And why she takes him seriously, talks to him like that. Spies on him. And it was easier for her to, to ask for a job here. Yeah. And the way she's reacting. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. She's John Titer. She's John Titer! The satellite was her time machine. It was a Chevy satellite. That's why it crashed. <laughs> oh, yeah? That she just happened to have? Come on. I just want to get her off my back. You rat! You're a rat! I'm more concerned with CERN right now. <laughs> I bet if Daru were to be getting mail from Shining Finger, he'd appreciate it. I better not tell him then. Solving one of Akiba's mysteries won't topple the organization's regime, after all. Priorities! Never mind the fact that Titer was looking for one. But you, you can always hear her out and judge for yourself. On the bright side, since you more or less figured her out, that means I don't have to worry about her accidentally and forcefully becoming my favorite character. <laughs> now, Suzuha might still become that, but right. so, so might anybody else. <laughs> it's a fair game. Man, you kicked her out of my head. Thanks. <laughs> and see, he has to respond to this now. I don't know what studio animated Steins Gate, but boy, they are the best at disapproving stares. Amane is amused. <laughs> Suzuha smirks. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. God dang the brains! Uh. Hidden function? That reminds me. I'm pretty sure that John Titer from 2000 said something like that. Why else would he be looking for one? I searched through my memories. With the search bar. Let's see. My memories are Windows 3.1. So I'll just start navigating through <laughs> the different folders in the file structure. Tashka. IBN 5000には独自のプログラミング言語がどうたらこうたらあはあ if you ever find yourself saying Omitos, you are you you are Okabe Dintaro. Okay, good to know. Good to know. I'll keep that in mind next time I suddenly start spouting Japanese, I don't know. If you start doing that, you probably will be Okabe Rintaro. Okabe Wintaro. I admit that, that doing that was actually how I, what made me start to learn it. <laughs> was spouting stuff that I had no idea what I was saying, but I thought it sounded cool. Like wind quotes from King of Fighters or something. Cool. <laughs> Y yes, we know. AP area basic of Q Surumani Kakareta. IBN no Dokuji no programming gengo mo kaido kudekicha no tesa. Kyogakura to moanai. What would that matter though? It, yeah! Basic. 
short for Beginner's All-Purpose Symbolic Instruction Code, a beginner's programming language frequently used in the 1970s. APL, short for a programming language. A programming language introduced in 1964. Oh, so that's what that is. Also, it's a very, very effective conspiracy theory-esque thing to do to have the secrets of the world written in a 1960s programming language. What is this, National Treasure? You know, those were good movies. They were. John Titor did say something like that ten years ago. And right after that, an IBM engineer officially admitted to that function's existence. Huh. But outside of tinfoil hattery, what does that mean? Like some kind of Latin for computers. The reason Titer traveled to 1975 to obtain an IBM 5100 was because he, for some reason, needed that function. Hence the secrets of the universe and national treasure. The world is written in that code. Maybe Moeka wants to use it too. Or she's just a nerd. Or she's John Titer! Jane Titer! Everyone is John Titer! Yeah, I said that earlier. I know. See, Moeka is Jane Titer, and Suzuha is Joan Titer. Mmm. And, um, Christina the Zombie what, is. What, Jill Titer? Yes. <laughs> or maybe not. Shining Finger doesn't seem like the type who'd know about that sort of function. That's not why it's rare. That's why she's that's why she's saying it's rare. That doesn't make sense though. Of course it doesn't. It's rare because it can decipher old programming languages. Look, she's playing into him, okay? So IBN 5100s is super rare? Maybe if I get one, I could sell it for a high price. <laughs> Priorities. That could be a good way to raise research funds. Maybe Shining Finger will buy it. But first, I have to deal with CERN. <laughs> nah, forget all that. I'm just gonna go take down CERN first, okay? But no one forget that plot point. It's gonna be really important later on. I wrapped up my conversation with Suzuha and made my way up the stairs to the lab, where, seeing Doru hacking away, I took a quick nap and ended the episode. Huh. I managed to get one at the end of a scene. That's two in a row. <laughs> Billy disapproves. What? Why? 